to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. watching game this between two very high quality sides a treat for everybody here well on the face of it peter we would appear to have a high caliber meeting with very little at stake but then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in and this becomes a big incentive it changes the dynamic so there's plenty at stake for them which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction and hopefully the style of contest So it's down to business here. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Jan Oblak. He's not someone you often see pulling off spectacular saves, but that's about the highest compliment you can give a goalkeeper because it speaks to his positioning and his organisational abilities. He's just about the best there is when it comes to, to claiming crosses and high balls into the box too and is just the kind of presence that spreads a, a composure and a con chance big moment massive goal it's hardly a surprise is it that's what we're here for a player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times yet yet another example the keeper deserves some sympathy there he may not have seen that until too late Atletico Madrid trail at this early stage. How will they respond? Felipe. Cunha. Llorente. And here's Torres. And the weighted pass. That intervention was very necessary. Hoists it forward. And that has been cleared. Throw. Samuel shapes to shoot! Straight at the keeper. Well, to put it this way, he's probably made better decisions. Cunha. There has been just the early goal here, and the score is 1 0. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. And here's Suarez. Romagnoli plays it out to the wing. Rebic. Gets away from his opponent. Rebic has a pop! Goal! Hot knife through butter. They have done it again! 
Milan are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Milan have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Maltini. And it's Shevchenko. Maltini. did come from a corner, now then. Can he dig out a shot? Has a hit! And it's there! And already they're looking to run away with it. Great reactions in front of goal. He just saw what was on. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk. As cunning as it comes. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat trick. Milan take a three goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Cunha. Going through. Herrera. And here's Torres. Cunha plays it backwards and they'll try again. To the left it goes. Over to the left. That's a throw. Romagnoli. Maldini with a long pass. Cunha tries to get it forward quickly. Llorente plays it forward. Suarez spreads it towards the left. Now it's Luis Suarez. Tries to dink it in. Header! Torres gets flagged offside. goes for half-time. Well, there's plenty that can be said about the last 45 minutes, but one thing that cannot be said is that it's dull. One-sided, yes, but packed with excitement. Peter, do I really need to say anything, or can I simply refer you to the scoreline? Milan are cruising it at half-time, 3-0 ahead. And we're already back on the way here. Montero, Coque, Felipe, and it's played forward, and it's Correa. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Rebic, Fernando Torres. And now they can launch a counter. Crowd calling for him to shoot, and a shot! Outstanding save to keep that out. 
Atletico Madrid know they can rely on the counter and they've just expressed a warning. Okay, goes short. Up to meet it! Great football, shot and save. Well, he did get himself into a good position. Something for him to cling to. Okay, with the short one. Nicely controlled. There are a few waiting for it. Well, that's a foul, and the whistle's gone. And he is going into that little black book. Well, the players are making their point, but the ref clearly isn't interested. He's waved them all away. Towering header! Can't he can pounce on that? No, he's missed it. It's pretty clear that he's being singled out. Yeah, and they finally reacted, but they could have been more switched on before he, he scored. That'll be a throw. Lamar switches it towards the other side. Llorente. Well, it's a crossing feast here, but I'd advise them to keep a variety in their play to avoid being found out and stopped. Yeah, nobody's going to argue with that. Maldini eases him off the ball. No complaints about that challenge. Robust, but fair. He's got away. Felipe. Felipe goes looking. And here's Llorente. Looks to clip it forward. Quick cross. And a header! Really well taken goal. Great header. Made it look easy. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. So, just a consolation, or is there a way back from here? Luis Suarez, now it's Torres. Rebic, Correa, Correa with the challenge, and he has given away a free kick. Maldini, Rebic, cleared without complication. Maldini, Maldini! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Well, that's why we all say indecision is fatal. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Rebic. Tries to get it clear. 
Herrera. Now it's Luis Suarez. He's come loose. I have to say that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. Now it's Maldini. Rebic. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. That's just an example of overcommitting, and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention. It was vital. Maldini. Tonelli. Maldini. And it's Maldini. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Correa. Correa drives it forward. Koke. It's Koke! That has certainly tested the keeper. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Forward it goes. Tonelli has given away a free kick. Lamar. Lovely bit of skill there. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Oh, well played. He's taken that really cleanly. And there goes the final whistle. Milan emerge victorious here, and it's no more than they deserve. They were simply the better team. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Yeah, looking back on...